£3.49 with spinach, tomatoes and mushrooms. But there's two pieces in the box times two. Clear them out, be good. Sorry, it's our sorry, sorry. Hello my loves and welcome back to the channel and if it happens to be the first time here, how do you? I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those Vegan, vegan Guys. guys. Um, right, now then, in continuing our Veganuary shopping series, but before we do, um, I'm going to point you to the Veganuary playlist. Uh, there's only two videos in it so far, our introduction this year, 2024, yes. and an Aldi shopping vlog, notes on the Aldi shopping vlog in a moment. But you'll see all the shopping vlogs that we've ever done in any Veganuary in that same playlist. I like things in lists, it helps my brain. It helps a lot of people, I think, to have things in lists, Yeah, particularly on the YouTube indeed so today as you've clearly seen by the title and very probably the thumbnail uh, our main visit is Lidl but before we go into Lidl I just want a little uh, chat about a couple of things that we mentioned in the Aldi vlog we're gonna do an Aldi top up by the way yeah. in this vlog now this is important information Everything that we showed you in the original Aldi vlog will probably be core items for most of the year. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. The stuff that we're going to show you in Lidl now and the top-up stuff we're going to show you in Aldi will be the stuff that's only around for January. We don't normally show it because it gets on our nerves. It does. It really <laughs> does. But if it helps you on your Veganuary journey, it would be remiss of us not to show it to you. It would. The only thing, when we were talking about this briefly last night, Paul's absolutely right. It would be remiss of us not to show you what is available and give you, you know, the full range. Yeah. But it's upsetting a little bit because we think it's like if somebody is doing Veganuary for the first time and they find something in Veganuary that's like the perfect transition item for them for it to disappear at the end of January. Or new core item. Yeah. Not necessarily transition because there's this whole thing with veganism we've already put the shopping starts at uh, up here we do like to talk beforehand uh, yeah I, it, it, it's there's this whole thing in veganism like oh yeah use the alternatives and the processed stuff to get you there uh, as if the aim is to be whole food plant based well it might not be it's not for me no it's certainly not for me no i love whole food plant based meals i love to cook love to i also like to buy a box of pies and make some mash <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know what i mean absolutely though? yeah um so going back to what we said in the aldi vlog because we kind of alluded to the fact that with, for example, the dark chocolate digestives in Aldi, we said if it didn't say milk in the ingredients, it was probably vegan by ingredient. And then I said, um, and that's the case for most things. Then we moved on to the cereal. We only pointed out the vegan cereals. Yes. Um, but that rule... If it says vegetarian, but you don't see anything bolded as an allergen uh, in the ingredients, it might be vegan, does not apply with cereal. Mm. Because vitamin D, the sneaky little bugger, uh, which is it, like fortified into a lot of Kellogg cereals, mm -hmm. for example. So, um, it, what's that stuff I used to have all the time? It's been like 10 years. Special care. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Special <clears throat> care says suitable for vegetarians, but it's not vegan because the vitamin D that they use in it is from sheep's wool. Randomly. Yeah, I know. Sheep's wool. <laughs> it's like we can't leave animals alone, can we? So there are certain things you've got to watch out for. There That's are. a prime example. And, of course, some of you lovely folk in the comments uh, on the Aldi vlog that we did, just whilst we're on the subject, um, also mentioned about the digestives. You've got to check your uh, ingredients because Absolutely. there's some that are still stocking 
that have got the stocking of the of the digestives that do have milk in. Well, here's the rub, right? First, they didn't have milk in. Then they did. Then they didn't. Then they did, and now they don't again. Where we live, yeah. I don't know what Aldi do with their dark chocolate digestives, but clearly if it says milk in the ingredients, they're not vegan. Yeah. Uh, and I know that some of you have already, like Jason said, you've already found your packets have got milk in the ingredients. I don't know what's going on there. The safest option for a dark chocolate digestive, but again, check the ingredients, because you never know when they sneak milk in you there. You never know. Tesco. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for us, in terms of our palate, it's a preferred chocolate digestive. Um, but yeah, the general rule of thumb is, and obviously the wonderful people have have checked the ingredients and let us know, and that's brilliant, and let the community know here yeah. on YouTube. Now, when you watch one of our vlogs, if you're new on your vegan journey, always check the comments too. If there's anything that's full of bullshit, I'll delete it, so don't worry. Do you know, because people try to share information sometimes and it's it's like you haven't even thought about that. Yeah, yeah, it does Do you know what I mean? sometimes. And so it will just get deleted. However, if I've if we've liked and loved a comment, then it's because we appreciate it being shared. So do read the comments because it's not only these videos that are a gold mine of information, but our fantastic community that we've 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 grown together mm -hmm. all of us yeah over the last few years and this is a gorgeous community so uh do stick around for some more vlogs but i think that's enough banter in the car um some of you have already posted about what you found at uh little don't forget this will probably only be around for the month so if you want to stock up now would be the time to do it let's go and show you what you're going to stock up with Little, right behind us. Just gonna show you this very quickly because it can get a bit confusing, but the bakery section in Lidl does have a really good list. Now, this one's difficult to see, but for example, apple turnovers are clearly marked vegan. You can just see the dot under vegan. And there's quite a few things that are clearly marked vegan. They're dotted, so if you fancy having a look at the bakery section, it's very, very clearly outlined what's vegan and what isn't. Clearly marked vegan. Deluxe, six sourdough crumpets, 99p. Look, it says vegan, right there. Aldi, uh, little, pretty much the same as Aldi. Um, their own bread is, uh, for example, this one, simply all meal, clearly marked vegan. So they're very, very good at labelling when something is vegan. And you've got a fancy seeded bloomer that's also clearly marked vegan. Lovely loaf, that. Um, £1.39. I don't know how much these simply... Um, um, well, I'm not sure, actually. ...breads are. Oh, medium white and whole, 45p. Yeah, that'll be, that. that'll be right. Wow, 45p for a loaf of bread. Clearly marked. We love clearly marked. We have a t-shirt, don't you know? Oh, they do all sorts of fancy breaded items as well. Look like two kebab wraps. Um, 99p, clearly marked vegan. Uh, when it's vegetarian, it says clearly vegetarian. Do you see? And when it's vegan, it clearly says vegan. So yeah, lots of breaded items. Onward! If you know us, you know that every time we come to Lidl, we get one of these to share for our lunch. If you ever fancy um, a sushi for your lunch, th this does two of us absolutely perfectly. It's truly gorgeous. Three ninety nine worth every penny. So there's that, but they also do fabulous little things like this. For example, shiitake mushroom poke bowl. Um, Where's it marked, Jay? Um, is it on the front? Plant based. It says plant based. Ah, yeah. It says it says plant based, right there. I mean, for me personally, I would still check. I, I mean, it's ninety nine point nine percent certain when it says plant based, but I would occasionally you can still get caught out. Yeah, that is absolutely fine. Yeah, because you've got to watch for things like honey as well. Yeah. In in all kinds of things. Uh, so yeah, they do have grab and go items, vegetable samosa. 
Um, clearly marked vegan and £1.35. So if you fancy something, grab and go. Grab it and get out. <laughs> now there's absolutely all sorts on this um, chill section. Literally, absolutely all sorts. Uh, we've just been checking. So I mean, even things like this. I think these are core items though. I've seen these in here before. These are not like um, this month only. Yes. Uh, smashed avocado with lime, smashed avocado with chili, 85p. Um, I think pretty much all the hummuses, like I say, you have to check your labels, but when they say vegan, they're clearly vegan. So you've got reduced fat hummus, you've got beautiful extra virgin olive oil hummus with chickpeas on top. Uh, you've got falafel for £1.25. You've got a whole range of the gosh stuff. Uh, for £1.79, Moroccan spiced falafel, Mediterranean falafel, sweet potato, pakora, gorgeous. you got tofu, how much is in there? Oh, 500 grams? Uh, 550 grams, dried 500. That's, yeah, so 500 grams of tofu for one ninety nine. This is dated uh, February, um, we've already got two in our trolley. All this kind of stuff in the chilled section. Plant-based two Moroccan style burgers. Clearly marked vegan, 179. Six vegan sausages, which will be vegetable based, not a meat alternative one. Mm -hmm. so, I, so it's vegan, but it says veggie sausages because it means vegetable. Yes. Uh, Randomly. Yeah. The oh. Richmond meat free sausages there as well. Yeah, for £2.15. Yeah. Which is really good. Oh, and I spotted this as well. Which is rather fancy. Fruity couscous. Fruity Moroccan style couscous. One pound. No, no. Oh, I can't see a price. Uh, one forty nine. One pound forty nine. Clearly marked vegan. But there's loads of stuff here, so just have a right good look. If you fancy a fancy soup, ignore that one. We've got a fine tomato and lentil soup. Clearly marked vegan. One pound ninety nine. One pound sixty nine for two. Stone baked pizza bases, clearly marked vegan. If you fancy having a bash at making your own with your own homemade tomato sauce and some vegan cheese, you can do. Now, again, these are core items, we believe, and not like, you know, they won't disappear. Um, but I mean, look at this as an Enmondo oat milk, 59p. Um, minor figures, everyday oat, 99p. We've got an oat barista for 149. Oh, and an oat barista at one pound nine. Oh, it's the minor figures that's 149. Let me just correct sorry. you on those other two prices as well. The 59 and the 99. Are the evaporated the milk? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's all sorry. cheap as chips though. I mean, one pound nine. The Vimondo stuff's about 50p in it. Yeah, and they've got all the uh, almond and uh, the unsweetened and the original for uh, 99p. Oh, and the soya milk is 89p. So, not bad. Some spread for your bread. Uh, you know Vitalite is dairy free and clearly marked vegan. And thankfully, once again, flora, all of them, including the buttery, every single flora is clearly marked vegan. We've just picked up these um, vegetable pa paella bites, 49p, freezable dated today. Going in freezer, you'll see them in a future meals vlog. 40p. 40p. We're such vegans. So, in the limited offers, take note, <laughs> limited offers section, they've got a whole plethora of stuff. Now, you have to be careful because, no, it, it, once again, if it's marked vegan, like that, or like that, then it's clearly vegan. However, the lasagnas are clearly marked vegetarian. They're not vegan, they contain dairy, so be careful there. But, what is vegan? Well, you've got uh, plant-based meat-free meatballs, 149. You've got these uh, filled pastas. So, this one is with mushroom, this one is with bro Ooh, broccoli and olive, sounds gorgeous. 199. I think we'll try that one, Jason. Yeah. 
There's sleeves of plenty in there as well. Broccoli and olive sounds gorgeous. We've got a bacon for £1.29. Some escallops for £1.99. They've got a fabulous, great big vegan tortilla. Oh, look at the size of that. Oh, with chickpeas and onions. Whoa. What's date on that, brothers? 2 45 We've got some clearly marked vegan tortellini uh, with meat alternative filling and one with tomato and basil. They're $1.99. Uh, vegan gnocchi with tomato and vegan gnocchi classic, £1.49. We've got this whole range of gosh stuff down here. 28 for jam by the way, the tortilla. Oh, we'll get that then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we move up. We've got pizza topping vegan cheese for one one ninety nine. We've got flavoured tofus. Ooh. Just in case you don't know by the way, I am a tofu fanatic. I never thought I would say that in my life. Mm -hmm. 99p I'm passing to Jason to check the date. It's on 149, by the way, the, uh, the, the pizza topping cheese. I said that. I think you said 199. Oh, did I? I think. If I'm wrong, I apologise. So, yeah, I won't mind a couple of these if they've, if they've got a good date on them. What else have they got? Oh, Beechwood smoked. date is the 18th of February 2024. Right, we shall have one of them. This one, yeah? Yeah. Alright, so we're getting that one. Yeah, marinated in soy sauce. I'd like one of these basil ones as well, if the date's good. I guess they'll be the same, or similar, or just double check. Well, while he does that, I'll carry on. So yeah, you've got the gnocchi, uh, you've got these spreads, which we assume are a bit like a pate. I think we had one last year, but I can't remember. So French style, um, and Mexican style, and they're 99p. Ooh, vegan chocolate mousse, 199. Nice. Oh, I love a chocolate mousse. We'll have one of them. <laughs> uh, vegan yogurt and fruit desserts, coconut dessert with blackberry, with peach, um, tropical and fruity, 99p. Got some little souffles, clearly marked. We had one of these last year and they were quite lovely. I recall they were very nice, yeah. Did you get this? Uh, I will in a second. And they also do a dark chocolate and caramel one, clearly marked vegan, $1.99. And coconut classic yogurt, 99p. So them are all the, while they're in, they're in. And when they're gone, they're gone. But it might be worth getting a few items to get you through this first month. And flora plant butter, $1.99. Marvellous. Also, in this same section, we've got a load of uh, cauldron tofu. Love cauldron tofu and uh, falafels and marinated tofu. And they've got these dips. Do goodly dips, uh, $1.99. Roasted red pepper. Um, nacho cheese and tasty tomato and bean hummus uh, and they're all clearly marked vegan on the boxes they're sitting vegan friendly so yeah all that as well hey, there's a couple of old familiars back so we're on the uh, limited offers aisle now uh, as you can see and at the end of the aisle you've got all these um, like sweeties high Oh, high protein soy chocolate. Is that that's not these, is it? No, it's a drink. I know. I'm trying to figure out what's the pro oh vegan bites. One pound ninety nine. So you've got date, hazelnut, cocoa, and coconut. Whoa, date, espresso, hazelnut, and banana. Fig, walnut, and chia seed. I think that's it. We've got uh, vegan aioli, one forty nine. They've got oatly, one pound nine. 
and their own hazelnut drink 149. Oh, it's 149 by the way. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's all the chocolate as well. Oh, we should get one of them. All the chocolate. I haven't had a chocolate milk drink for ages. Yeah. Um, they've got a vegan fusely, 100% green pea. We've checked and it says, does contain grains containing gluten. Sorry guys. There's a vegan marble cake we've had before. There's one in our trolley. They're lovely. It's £1.79. They've got these lovely tortilla wraps. We've had them both. The carrot and the beetroot. We had them last year. One ninety nine. Lovely. Yeah. Got a lovely jar of Mondo salad cream. But there's a... I mean, that's... I, sh I should imagine it's the same as the vegan mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, they might do a... a oh, sandwich bread classic. Sandwich bread, does that mean with bits of vegging and everything? Let's have a look. That's very interesting. Uh, then Mondo, vegan chocolate with pretzels and sea salt. It, it just, 179. It just says tartar sauce style vegan sauce. Ooh. That's, that's what it says. But on the front it says sandwich bread. Yeah. How weird. What's the date on it, Brummers? 23rd of the 7th, 24. Grab one. Yeah. Did you get the... Uh, yes, yeah. I've, I've just done the uh, the chocolate. What's this whole earth? Drizzle. Gold, golden roasted peanut butter. Ooh. That's, that's 199 Super smooth peanut butter. Nice. Uh, what about these organic millet snack balls? Oh, peanut flavour. Yeah. 99p. Clearly marked vegan. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, here, for those that are into the gummies and the sweets, or for the kids, both the vegan gummy, candy, plant based, is clearly marked vegan, Paw Patrol. And the Pepper Pig, vegan gummy candies, also clearly marked vegan. And how much are they, Jeff? Uh, I think the Paw Patrol, uh, 199 and the, yeah, both 199 Nice one. Also spotted hazelnut and cocoa spread, £1.99. Again, clearly marked vegan somewhere. Uh, there. There. And also, the date on that is the 8th of February 2025. Oh my God, it'll last always. Well, long. I can't remember, I've showed you these, so I will quickly. Uh, oat cookies, red. Raisins and coconut, chocolate chip, uh, chocolate chip, chocolate chip and orange, one ninety nine, all clearly marked vegan. And then popping down here, got a jar of Vegemite, darling. Should you fancy it? One sixty five. Look, <laughs> these are all uh, vegan and gluten free, uh, and I think they are one twenty five. So you got like sweet chili, salted. Uh, what are they? Popped what? They're like. Um, just popped crisps. Yeah. yeah. Good and honest. Nice. And they've got plant protein for $9.99. Uh, there's probably a lot more. We're not going to, like, detail every single thing. We just wanted to show you that it's worth coming having a look in Lidl right now. And now we'll go and have a look in the freezers. Don't forget, limited offers. Um, and we showed these in our pre-Christmas little vlog the vegan mini pizzas uh, but they're on offer at the moment for 99p and as we recall they're absolutely gorgeous so you know if you fancy having a bash at them um, they've got plant based fingers cooked with a crispy potato golden crumb or coated with a crispy herb golden crumb they're 199 clearly marked vegan got these lovely veg mixes uh, courgette and bulgur pumpkin and quinoa buckwheat and broccoli 149 got this Ben Mondo stuff here we've got uh, nuggets and uh, meatballs in the freezer 199 all this Tyndall stuff Tyndall wings Tyndall nuggets again 199 
all vegan, clearly marked vegan. And then right next to the Tyndall Nugget wings, you've got uh, the Tyndall burgers, which are chicken style burgers, one ninety nine. Then we've got more of them Mondo Nuggets, this time chili nuggets. Oh, Jay, we'll, we'll, we'll get one of them for the freezer. A chili nuggets. Yeah. Loads of plant-based nuggets. A lovely vegan margarita pizza for one seventy-nine, And limited offer, vegan pizza. Oh, it's last box. Sorry, anyone who's coming to Little Lynch at it and we got the last one. £3.49 with spinach, tomatoes and mushrooms. But there's two pieces in the box, times two. Clearly marked vegan. Sorry, it's our sorry, sorry. If you've got a really good freezer, <laughs> and, I know I won't buy these for next year, but they've got the, uh, the nut roasts that they had for Christmas have now gone down to 199. So if you fancy one for a Sunday lunch, grab them while they're here. Limited time offer. Fantastic little array of vegan ice creams as well. But again, begs the question, why aren't they in all year little? Uh, choco brownie love, peanut butter and cookies, and banana chunk, and they're all £2.65. And, guess what? Clean them out, vegan. <laughs> got to show you these because these are a bargain and I don't think these are um, limited offer items these are all year round four vegan sausage rolls for £1.19 and two no steak bakes also for £1.19 £1.19 no brommers I might get one of each of them you know um, and they've got Linda McCartney sausages the plain ones and the red onion and um, rosemary for one seventy-five. Got a couple of cereals here as well, but it's just it's the Nestle uh, Shreddies chocolate and plain, both clearly clearly marked vegan on the box, and two forty-nine. Limited time offers, darlings. Thankfully, once again, little really clearly mark, uh, not with the same symbol though. Sometimes it's just oh no, it is the same symbol. Clearly marked vegan. Choco shells, uh, they're at £1.79, but there's quite a few, we've Silly. noticed. Uh, Choco hoops, uh, one twenty-five. Now, look at this. Clearly marked vegan, but with vitamin D in the ingredients, so that means it's the same vitamin D, not from sheep's wool. What else, Jay? Uh, the cereal cookie is clearly marked and the fruit and fibre is clearly marked nice uh, so yeah just check your check your ingredients check your labels lots of cereals to choose from marvellous now we're getting on to kind of core items that will be in all the time but uh, again if you check your labels you'll find that um, the fruit shortcake biscuits tower gate are clearly marked to be good um, the shortcake biscuits are clearly marked vegan 49p bourbons nice big double pack are clearly marked vegan 78p yeah just check your labels and you'll find a whole plethora of plant-based passions <laughs> let's dramatically film Bromley looking and walking off <laughs> well little might not have the huge selection of Aldi when it comes to uh, wines but uh, they, when they're vegan, they're clearly marked, and it's usually these ones that have got like the USA uh, symbol on them. Um, so the Merlot, for example, flip it over, Jay. Clearly marked vegan. You'll find that across the whole range of red and white wines. So you've got to do the, you've got to look, but hopefully you'll find something you uh, fancy if you are indeed a wine drinker. Now, we are getting far more than I expected us to get. So, now that we've shown you the whole plethora of items, I think it's checkout time. Racing the, fab the fabulous till lady at Lidl so we can show you all of these bits. Which is what we're getting to stock up our fridge, freezer and cupboards. And I'll tell you, of course, how much all of this costs uh, when we get to the end. 
quite the plethora. We've had to switch position in car park to do our closer because the sun were right in our face and it was dead bright. And we couldn't see now. Still can't see now. No. Um, £47.52 was how much our shopping came to then. That's with two bottles of wine. Yeah. Um, so I'll take them off and it's 40 quid. Give it a take. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, three pizzas, three blocks of tofu, several desserts, loads and loads of stuff, as you saw. But I'm taking advantage of it. It's like, okay, you want to give me this stuff? Yeah. I'll buy it. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Now, we've also heard that there's a vegan feta style cheese we couldn't see it in our little if it's available in yours let people know below yeah. where you are that's the important thing so we are in Royton in Oldham yeah I was going to say not your home address we no don't, we, don't, we don't want you putting that down there <laughs> your town <laughs> so we're in Royton in Oldham so you've seen what's available in Royton if we skimmed past the, uh, the feta without noticing it don't say, you missed, <laughs> you missed this. Say, oh, yeah, there's also this. It was very busy in there. It was very busy. We had to pause at a couple of points because we had um, we had some zombies kind of like hovering uh, around us, almost like jostling, jostling for attention, like they wanted to be on camera or something. Yeah. I don't do, know. Do people get annoying in supermarkets, especially when they stop and look at the vegan sections and don't get anything. It's like you clearly weren't interested. You just wanted to see what we were looking at. Why didn't you buy some at Margaret? Why don't you try some at? Think about the animals. Yeah, come on, Doreen. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, a cracking range in for January and a reasonable core range. Um, that vegan sushi, for example, that's year round. Yes. As are many of the vegan biscuits and cereals and breads and mm -hmm. spreads and all of that stuff. We've got a great fruit and veg section. We don't ever show them because none of you need us to show you what a carrot looks like. No. Um, and, you know, for us personally, vegetables are the mainstay of our of our uh, diet. As you'll see, as things start to normalise with our meals, yeah. vlogs, we eat a lot of yeah. eggs. We're still getting through some of the festive stuff. Um, we've eased ourselves into the new year. Uh, things ramp up considerably from next week and get back to a little bit more sense of uh, normalcy. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, well done, Lidl. Excellent stuff. Uh, if you're testing the market and seeing what's popular, maybe some of this stuff will stick around for a little bit longer beyond January, or it might be reintroduced at a later time in the year. You just never know. Very unpredictable. Uh, but it's good to see the stuff there. Get out. Treat yourselves. Have an adventure. Try some new stuff that you might not have tried before. Because ultimately, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Absolutely. And now, we're going to go to Aldi and show you the bits that weren't there when we filmed two days before New Year. Yeah. Uh, so, um, oh, let's do our thing. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> oh. oh, oh, we're in Failsworth Aldi now. Failsworth Aldi, take note. Uh, right, what I'm going to do is up there now, I'm going to link the original Aldi vlog that we did just before the new year, like a day before. Uh, so this is just a top up to that vlog because stuff came in as we mentioned at the start, after we'd done that vlog. But this is the stuff that's probably only going to be around for a month. Yeah. So this literally is a little bit of a top-up. Just a quick top-up. Quick top-up of Aldi bits. So um, we'll see you back in the car when we've been in there. It's that way. So yes, they have got some more stuff in since we last uh, came in. Oh, are these the big yeah. dairy-free mango? yogurts for one ninety nine. Uh we showed you most of this tofu stuff. Oh no this is the stuff that is just for Veganuary isn't it? Sweet chili and onion and organic the organic smokes and the firm 99p they're year round but I think these mm -hmm. it says I'm new so maybe they'll keep them in. Um unfortunately the no ham and no chicken slices that everyone's been talking about although I haven't heard the best reviews about them they're not in 
neither are the for he to pieces so whether that's a really good sign and, and they've just like you know had a run on them the vegan cheese selection that they did for Christmas is down to £2.49 and of course they've got their core stuff um, the grated, the slices and the block for one ninety nine. and then they've got more down here they've got this Greek style block um, which I think is just a veganuary thing oh we'll get a couple of them Jeff yeah. November 2024 chuck them in yeah. And they've also got that French style round there as well. Oh yeah. Oh, just, we'll try that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Rude not to. And they've got ready meals, um, which are I think two pound thirty nine. Uh, and I think that might be it for the addendum stuff. So yeah, we're gonna try this um, smoked salmon. I don't know what we're gonna try it with. But we're going to try it. Maybe a bagel. Two ninety nine. <laughs> Probably a bagel and some cream cheese would be quite lovely. Hey, I'm right glad we found more. Um, so these, uh, again, we don't know how long they'll stay in beyond the end of this month. But they've got these lovely little pot meals for one ninety nine. They've got a cauliflower dal, uh, three bean chilli. Um, oh, a lentil shepherd's pie. Is that it, promise? I believe so. Yep. And then they've got pot meals for one pound nine. So you know, like um, what they called pot noodles, uh, spicy and sport and smoky mac and melt, spicy no beef noodles, no chicken tikka masala. I think I tried the spicy no beef noodles last year. Did you like them? I seem to recall they were quite nice. Yeah. yeah. But I don't remember trying the chicken tikka masala, so I'm going to get that just in case. Okay, nice one, promise. So there you go, that's a future taste test. Oh, I picked up some of these as well. Um, they're in the clearance freezer now for 99p. We had some over Christmas and they're a nice little side when you're having an oriental plate, mm -hmm. like we do quite a lot. They've got the uh, sliced burger buns, the brioche buns. Let's do that so it looks better, shall we? Uh, they're £1.29 and £1.89 they've got the plant menu panel chocolate and the croissants and they're both quite lovely aren't they Brommers? They are, yeah. Uh, and they've got Heinz seriously good vegan mayo massive bottle for 2 99 We'll get one of them. Are we going to get some of these if they've got a good date on them? Uh, yeah. Check the day because then can let folk know kind of what to expect. Oh, here we go. Uh, 27th of Jan. So that's decent. Yeah. Uh, we'll get one of each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these one. are 27th as well. And I'll get some of these as well because we'll have some burgers over the next uh, few nights. And I mean, you can get Warburton's ones, clearly marked vegan as well, but it's good to see these bits. But these are the bits that won't stay. Standard stuff, but worth mentioning. You can also get this kind of stuff in home bargains and B&M bargains as well. But Harvest Snaps are clearly marked vegan and gluten free. So they've got the sour cream and chive uh, rings. Get some of them actually because they're lovely. And they've got the Thai sweet chili crispy lentil puffs. Both clearly marked vegan. Both gluten free. Both 99p. Well, we ended up with far more in our basket than we thought we would. And we shall see you back in the car. Or oh, I might show you this on the uh, on the belt if we don't go through self-service. So that's what we're getting. These bits. And we'll let you know how much this little lot costs when we get back into the car. But there we are. And there you go. We're finished. We bought way more than I thought we would to be honest £35.62 or something it was in it was £35 and some pence in Aldi but again two bottles of wine because it's the weekend it's Friday as we're filming this mm -hmm. uh, our first day off work mm. um, although it's not really <laughs> is it? uh, it's a, don't forget the core the core of why we do what we do is to try and show as many people as possible how easy tasty diverse and affordable veganism is and why because animals it always comes back to the animals yeah. because we use abuse and forcefully breed animals for their flesh and secretions 
on this planet as if that's something normal and it's it's been normalized but it's not normal no it's horrific it really is yeah um and so anything that we can do to help to promote plant-based eating and hopefully leading to a vegan lifestyle because it's not just about what you eat it's about what you wear it's about what you buy it's about your household cleaning products and we will get to that throughout this month um we'll try and cover as much as we could as we can yeah. but we won't be back at aldi and Lidl now yeah for the rest of january no we're done we're done um, we've shown as much as we possibly can yeah, we have. um all credit to aldi and Lidl. um regardless you know we've said what we've said in the past about aldi and Lidl to a certain extent and we said at the start of the vlog about you know the fact that some stuff ain't going to be around beyond january yeah. but i still salute them and i still say you know well done. Yeah. We've got two hall shopping halls today, uh, as Paul said that we weren't really expecting. Um, but we've got to, we've got to try new stuff. We've got to try stuff that we've had before that we know that we love and mm -hmm. we enjoy. Uh, we encourage you to do the same if you're able to. And uh, if there's stuff in your Aldi or Little that isn't in ours, then drop it in the comments and let us know. Yeah, do do please. Um, I've got to go on now and play Jenga with my freezer. <laughs> Big time. Um, because you know, I don't, clearly there was stuff there that that uh, that we wanted as well. Um, just about the cold meats, by the way, it's our friend Adam from Birmingham who said that the chicken style. I think it was the chicken style sliced meat he had wasn't that great. He gave it about a six out of ten. Mm -hmm. I tell you what is great: Richmond roast chicken style slices from the more supermarkets when we do the rest of the supermarkets this month and we will the big supermarkets it will almost all be core stuff that's there all the time a lot of the other super supermarkets don't really do like oh we brought this stuff in just for veganuary did they that's a very good point actually um i haven't really thought about that before but yeah it does seem to be predominantly aldi and Lidl. Yeah, that kind of really drive the veganuary sort of thing. Yeah, but then it, 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 it then it's temporary. Yeah. Whereas the stuff we're going to show you in Sainsbury's and Tesco and Morrison's and ASDA will all be core stuff that should be in there all year round to make your shopping really, really easy. Yeah, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's being able to go, buy, cook, eat. That's why we love Clearly Marked. That's what we love. That's what we love about it. Did yeah. I mention we had a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Our merch link and lots of other links are always down in the description of every video we do. So if you ever want to uh, get in touch, uh, come and see us over on Facebook, join our Facebook group. Uh, you'll find everything you need down there. And right at the bottom, you'll find a list of lovely folk that we're connected with, like Angharad and um, Stuart over at the library is open and yeah. all the vegan channels that, that, that we kind of watch and subscribe to. So, right, home, freezer Jenga. Lunch. Lovely lunch. Edited, get this up. Yeah. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this vlog and you haven't already, um, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, yes. And uh, also, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do. It's free. It takes merely a second. We upload regularly, so make sure that you've clicked the bell for notifications as well. And uh, stick with us on this journey. And to our wonderful subscribers who've known us for years, e, thanks for being here. <laughs> Always a pleasure, never a chore. Hope you found this uh, really helpful. Uh, we 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 do enjoy making them, um, don't we? We do. I love you. Love, love you. you. Mm. Love you guys. Thank you so so much for watching. Uh, we will see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves. Because I'll be turning his music down then.